understand me. You were together from the beginning. While I had to survive alone. Bigger Bodies Initiative, Smiling Critters Division. Experiment 1176, Dog Day. May 12th, Experiment 1176 has woken up. The coma time after the operation has been noticeably longer than that of the previous experiment. May 14th, 1176 still seems to be getting used to his new body. His biggest discomfort seems to be his hands. It's still being studied whether it was a good idea to remove the little finger in order to follow the character's design. May 20th, 1176 seems to retain skills learned in his previous life, such as reading, writing, and simple mathematical procedures. However, when asked to write his name, 1176 would respond automatically, only to later observe his response confused by it. His physical memory is present, but his mind is unable to recognize his own name. May 27th, 1176 has been introduced with other experiments. He seems to be confused by the little ones. On the other hand, large figures, especially male, generate enormous displeasure. 1160 and 1170 seem to ignore this reaction. June 2nd, 1176 still doesn't voluntarily interact with the other experiments. He seems worried. June 6th, the re-education process of 1176 begins. We start with something simple, asking 1176 to smile as much as possible. It's not enough. To help the critter's facial muscles, one of the assistants came up with a simple hook mechanism using some paper clips. The results are favorable. Even with the discomfort it generates, the mechanism should teach him to what level he's expected to smile. June 8th, in order to encourage his new identity, it's planned to keep 1176 in a room with a mirror while also keeping a recorder describing Dog Day's traits and likes. 1176 will be removed from the room only when he completely accepts his identity. Bigger Bodies Initiative, Smiling Critters Division. Experiment 1179, Kick in Chicken. February 2nd, 1176 seemed to have woken up correctly. He seems calm, but distracted. He's not distracted, he's feeling it. What? Let's go to the park, you'll see. February 8th, 1179, he seems to control his body wonderfully, although he still cannot explain his movements every time he hears a melody. Caleb, that's not how you're supposed to dance. It's, let him do it. He has the spirit. February 22nd, 1179 masterfully handles the sports that his caregiver has been instructed to teach him in his past life, confirming that said knowledge is maintained after the operation. Oswald, you see it? I made it! I see it, Star. You were flying. Eva is gonna love it. Of course she will! March 2nd, for some reason, 1179 seems to insist on grooming other experiments, especially when they seem uneasy. Take care of each other's hair is a way to show them how much you love them. Cool. Can I braid your hair too? Sure, sweetie. March 15th, for some reason, 1179 has called one of the employees' mom. When asked about it, he simply expressed confusion and sadness. Young Oswald aren't gonna leave me once the baby is here, right? Of course not. You're my first baby after all. Can I call you mom then? I would love that. April 2nd, although he doesn't seem to retain memories of his past life, 1179 maintains particular patterns such as, for example, always drawing the same scenario. Uh, and once I pass my exam, I'm going to come live with you. Oswald told me we can live at the beach, so I'm going to teach my little sis how to swim. June 20th, the re-education process of 1179 begins. After obtaining good results with 1176, it was planned to use the same technique with the rest of the critters. Listen, Star, this world is horrible, and if one day I'm not here for you, you need to know how to fight. Make yourself big, strong, and scary. I'm not coming with you! Don't let anyone put hand on you. Where's Oswald? Show them that they can't break you apart. Sir? Yes, Miss Graber? We had a particular visit at the playcare today. She was the widow of one of the employees that were the victims of Hucky Wucky. I see. Looking for survivor's rights. Not this time. She was asking to finish the adoption process that his husband started months ago for the children he was taking care of. Not possible. Blank has been admitted into the testing process. He's for adoption. 
can at least let her say goodbye? She really look worried for the child. Miss Graber, it wouldn't be good to feed the ideas of a grieving woman. In any case, if she comes back, tell her not to worry. The child is in a better place now. Having a wonderful purpose and smiling every day. No canon event. The missing cat. The hell? I'll bring the grab pack and end my misery. Keep it together. It's not that big. No, that big? The monster can now float. How is that not big? How do you know it's him? What more could it be? Well, there's only one way to find out. Dopa! Go to the doghouse now. I got this. Hello? <gasps> uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you okay? Can you say something? Is he glitching? Okay. What do you say if we introduce ourselves first? I know a funny way to do it. Pay attention. Alba. Do you know that way? Wanna try it? Cat. Mm. Nah. Ah. Your name is Catnap. I see. Okay, now. Can you come here? There is no monster here. The monster never learned to use ASL. Somehow, this fella seems to be the true catnap. So now the question is, how did he get here? Catnap, where are you, buddy? So, a cartoon in real life? Doesn't matter. Pretty sure I can find a way to cook his meat right. We're not eating him, Samina. Why not? Can't you see he's just a child? A meaty child. At least a stew I can make. Leave the kitty alone! <laughs> can his room be next to mine? He can use my pillow collection. <laughs> We're not adopting him either. Then what's the plan? First, find out what experiment he's supposed to be, but I can't find anything about bringing cartoons to life. I found it! That's my girl. What does it say? He's not an experiment, he's a poltergeist. A what? A supernatural event where one or more spheres provoke disturbance like moving objects, breaking things. Uh -huh. And take the form of no real figures. A ghost, you say? Yeah, not just any ghost, but a cursed one. They tend to curse objects and fake an image relate to the object. Pretty sure this catnap comes to the cursed VHS. I hate it. But that nonsense makes it more sense. Makes more sense than any idea I come with. But up, uh, up with. So how do we get him in the VHS? We're not the Ghostbusters. We need to find the VHS first. Probably the ghost could get inside on its own. Okay, Catnap. Do you remember how you got here? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Why scary face? He's making signs. Alba, what is he saying? Um. Well, the first part is big, then cat? I don't understand the last one. Is he growling? Like scared, maybe? No, that's another one. The sign is clear, guys. He's saying the big cat. Monster. What is this place? The frog really saw Catnap getting inside here? That's what she said. It's too dark. Is that you? Why is that toy bleeding? Nah, I'm going back. Tofty, put that down. We're leaving. We can't go without catnap. I'm not sure we should be here. Why are we getting to the monster's cave? Don't you want to help a poor ghost, dude? I don't want to become a ghost. We have a plan. No need to overthinking it. Already, boss? Give him a man. For a ghost, you're really convincing. It's hard to know if your memories are mixed with what you think you are, or if you lie to yourself enough to keep the role. But it's bad for me to wish you were my brother. I used to have a brother. That's what Alba told me. I honestly can't remember him. But when I try hard enough, my mind can remember a big, innocent smile. A smile I swore to protect. That smile is gone, and now he... We are all monsters. He doesn't see me... Like he used to. I failed him. If you were him, at least I would know that you're not in pain. 
that you were not hurting others for my fault. That somehow, I didn't mess everything up. Guess I'm just being selfish, huh? You're probably just a kid from the play care that can't rest in peace. And here I am trying to get closure out of you. Forget everything I told you, okay? You could have bailed us up a hundred times in the morning. And a hundred more at midday. And at the end of the day, I'm going to smile at you because my brother never gives up. So neither do I. I'm getting too emotional damage for a non-can event. Let's finish this so I can go back to my almost dead. Don't want to move. Okay. Guys, teach him some manners. Wait. Something's wrong. Where's the monster? Um, right here. Seems like he found new toys. Dante! Guys, stay back! The monster's going to kill them! Stop! It's too risky! I can't turn off the TV. It must be the center of the poltergeist. Now bring catnap. But the others! Please! I need to help my brother! One thing at a time! We need to take the chance before the monster comes back! Ah, damn it! I really hate my soft heart. Change of plan, Alba. I'm dealing with this monster myself. Hey, Smiley! <laughs> you got the wrong dog. I'm right here. What are you so obsessed with a dumb cartoon to the point of force the original play with you? You're too old for that now. Wait, another catnap? That dog day? Dog day, you're okay? Bring it on, shitface! Catnap? Is it really you? Uh, I was so scared! I thought I thought you were acting weird, so I tried to hug you and, and then you... I'm never making you mad again, I promise! Please, let's go home. Catnap? That idiot! Always messing with my plans. Now I must save his ass. Wait, something's happening. Huh? What are you? Let's stop this nightmare together. Piggy Piggy. Dog Day. Kicking Chicken. Bobby Bear Hog. Bubba Bubba Fint. Hobby Hopscotch. Crafty Corn. And Catnap. Ah, oh, the smiling cloud, the harmony of all the critters. Uh. Magical final attack. <laughs> oh, just look at this. Uh, I feel dizzy. I don't want to know the cartoon not logic was all we need. You are so cute! I love to live in your world. So soft. Oh. Everybody here is either dumb or gay. Both. What's gay? Why you look so tired? I had to see things, child. Oh, looks so strong and cool. I don't want to look like that. No, you don't. Dude, you're high as F. <laughs> Bright eyes, you look funny. Mine now. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me that face. I'm not been too nice to a bad guy. It's different, okay? Okay, everybody. To the TV. Now what? Well... There's a lot of ways to destroy a cursed object. But, we could start with some holy water. Huh? That also works, I guess. Okay, Ken. Let's go home. So, you're gay? Well, can't say it, but. You like men? Yeah. You like Nell? He's a really nice guy with a big heart and a great mind. <laughs> Would make a good partner. So? Listen, just because we're both queer doesn't mean he likes me. Yeah, he does. You can't assume that he does, Sam, like you, because you're the only man available. I would never be with her. That's my point. I'm not risking our friendship and making things really weird between us, okay? He literally becomes a cranberry anytime you're nice with him. He has attachment issues, bastards beside. If he feels something for me, he would have said about something by now. Go! No! He's giving you the green light! I can't! Stop eating your feelings! Honey, 
Lift that right. You're gonna break your back. Eh, pretty sure that you're already broken, but thanks, Mom. Honey, Al is looking for you! <laughs> oh, look out for that back, Grandma. Grandma? You... I won't. Of course not. My back hurts. Everybody's back hurts. I can't read without glasses. You'll always be my mom, but ba babe. See, call me Grandma. She's a bitch. Had you ever felt like... What you see the matter isn't you. I used to put us in front of the mirror for days with a photo of the cartoon. See, that's you, Crafty Corn, the artistic critter. Smile like her, be like her. Can't you see yourself on the mirror? The answer to that question was always the same. No, I don't know who's in front of me. But I learned how to play pretend. Cause even though I was the one in the wrong, I wasn't playing my role right. So I gave my best. Until one day a door was open. The crafty corn on me didn't think it was a good idea. But there was something inside of me screaming, pleading, and crying. For some reason it wants me to look. To learn more. Crafty tried to turn around what was what's doing oh we're just looking a little that'll be good to know if we're doing things right but the more i read the more quiet crafty become and the cry becomes more clear until i see it and the crying changed to a scream that's me my eyes couldn't focus never had it had been able to but i could see it Clear enough. The memories were in my head, but the words helped me put the pieces together. I completed a puzzle I didn't know I had. All this time, I played by their rules, thinking they were right, fearing the consequences of my mistake. But I was never a player. I was a toy, something they could break and put together at will. I was in a body that never belonged to me. Playing a role I didn't ask for. But not anymore. Crafty, where are you, sweetie? It's... Alba. Crafty? What? Oh my god! My name is Alba.